Hello dear friends, I'm Samuel Moore and welcome to this week's video lesson. Today, I'd like to talk about Yamadas and how they're commonly used in the context of the Palo Soleá. Yamadas are an integral part of Flamenco performance language. The word Yamada literally translates as call. This is significant as in an ensemble context, dancers and guitarists commonly use Yamadas to open and close different sections of a Palo and thus signal the transition. In this sense, Yamada's structure a flamenco performance, as well as allow for non-verbal communication between different ensemble members. In a solo guitar context, Yamadas fulfill a similar role. They can be used to open and close a paddle and signal transitions within it. For example, if you were playing compass and wanted to move to a falsetta, you could use a Yamada to signal that transition. Each flamenco palo has classic guitar phrases that are often used to function as Yamadas. Today, I'd like to show you a classic idea that's often used in the context of solea. The phrase you're going to learn sounds like this. Here it is one more time, but with me counting the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Before we talk about how to use that in the context of your wider playing, let's learn how to play it note for note. In many respects, this is a very simple phrase to play. In terms of this hand, there's only really two technical considerations you need to worry about. Strumming with the thumb from the fourth string down and across the strings, combined with a golpe with this finger. So in other words, this movement. Additionally, you'll sometimes need to use your index finger to play free strokes on the open E string. Like so. From the point of view of the left hand, there's only really two chords you need to worry about. The E major chord, voiced like this, and the F major 7 chord, voiced like this. There are some hammer-on and pull-off phrases that you'll need to worry about with the left hand, but we'll get to those when we need to. Let's now go through the whole phrase beat by beat, and explore how to play it. The first thing that's going to happen is you're going to start on the E chord and you're going to do a downward strum with the thumb combined with golpe. As soon as you play that, you're going to hammer on with the third finger onto F, pull off onto E, pull off onto D, and then land back for a final hammer on onto the E. So basically, and in terms of the rhythm, that E at the end happens on beat two. So you're kind of going one, two. On the end of beat two, use your index finger to catch the open E string free stroke. So far, one, two, and. Then, it's very simple. We're going to go F, E, F with the left hand and with the right hand Downward strums with the thumb combined with golpe on the downbeat, an index finger catching free stroke on that open E string on the end of each beat. So in other words, put that with what you've already got. One, two, three, four, five. On beat six, we move back to E and we do a downward strum with the thumb combined with the golpe. But here's the tricky bit. We're now going to do that hammer on and pull off phrase again, but you're going to do it more than once. Previously, you just went. You're now going to have to do the hammer ons and pull offs twice. Finishing on 
the E. So essentially you're going E, F, E, D, E, F, E, D, E. And that's the phrase. So put that with what you've already got and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To conclude, on nine, we go back to the F major seven chord, down strum with the thumb, combined with the golpe, and then finish with the same idea with this hand, but now with the E chord as your final cadence. And then be 11 and 12 are left blank. You don't do anything on them. So the whole thing sounds like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there you have it. A simple phrase that commonly functions as a Yamada in the context of Soleya. Having now learned how to play it, let's talk a little bit about how that can be used in the performance context. Naturally, there are many different ways that Yamadas can come into play in a paro like Soleya. But let me give you a really simple example that you can take into your own playing. Let's say you're performing Soleya and you're playing compass, but you'd like to go to a falsetta. Well, you could use a Yamada, like the one you've just learned, to signal that transition. Let me demonstrate. I'll play a few cycles of compass, a Yamada to signal that I'm going to do something else, and then a simple falsetta. Here we go. So there you have it, a simple solea yamada and an example of one of the ways in which you can use it when performing. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications. There'll be more videos just like this one coming soon. For now, however, I'm going to leave what you've just learned in your capable hands.